Super Mega Baseballers, Eric here again. This time with the Kansas City Chiefs. Probably spent more time trying to figure out what the hell I wanted to do than making this. And then I tweaked it because I've kind of, I'm not a major fan of outline because as you try to make things connect, outline kind of messes it up and then you see these little bulges here and there on your outline and it and I've got a 73 inch screen TV so I see it clear as day but a smaller TV probably wouldn't be as noticeable um, so it annoys the hell out of me of course then the fun part is when you have to sit there and, and try to create outlines with shapes and you burn layers in the process so um, necessity being the mother of invention got me to create this the way that I did, and I'll talk through it as we get to it. So, Kansas City Chiefs, real simple. You need a red and you need a white. That's all you need, all right? And the red I went with, I want the right side red. As I've said before, it just feels like the right side reds are deeper, the left side reds seem brighter. It just might be my little superstition or something like that, but it just always feels to me that way. And so what I did was, if you think back a couple of logos before I did that really cool Green Bay Packard logo where I made the letters kind of entwine, and I'm like, oh, what the hell am I going to do for the Chiefs? Because you really can't do an Indian in these days. And, well, what's the name of their stadium? Arrowhead. What's their logo? An arrowhead. So I'm going to make an arrowhead, and then I'm like, well, let's do, you know, an entwined Kansas City. So that's what we came up with. Um, I made this logo and I did it with outlines and it just annoyed me because, and sorry, I'm gonna step into the picture here. So these little areas up here would be, there would be a small gap. Now, I put it on a jersey, took it in the gameplay, can't really see it. Um, but when I'm looking at and trying to do the video, it's annoying as hell and I just decided I, I needed to scrap it and redo it. So I spent 30 minutes making a logo, scrapped it. But the good thing was, when I kind of figured out what I ended up wanting to do instead, and I, I shaved a whole ton of layers and then came up with this and I like it. I, I really think this is kind of sharp. You could I could add yellow in here too because um, that's, I guess, a minor color for them, too. And it's like, I kind of want to just stick with the red and the white. Stay basic um, and kind of go from there. So let's get into it, all right? 32 layers of fun. Um, actually, the last layer I added was the square in the background because um, I realized I had the extra layer. So um, I did do one outline. And that was just for the entirety of the whole thing because at that point I realized I didn't have enough layers to do it with shapes, but I had done well enough with all the shapes that I did that one outline would look really freaking good. And it doesn't, if I would have done the red in outline, if this red was an actual outline instead of a shape, it would, you'd see bulges down here, down here, here, and here where things touch. And that's the reason why I don't like doing that. All right, so. First thing you do is you take a square two and max it out. Or just make it larger than the um, the screen. Then I did an outline. I think I did it three times enlarged. All right, and the first thing you do is a trapezoid two. So this is, I initially did trapezoid one because it's a, not as sharp of an in, cutting in. And then I had to do two of them. I don't know when I was coming back and saying I need to save layers. I took another look at Trapezoid 2 and said, you know, it actually does pretty much what I want all in one. Maybe cuts in a little bit more than I would like, but I can live with that. So Trapezoid 2 in red, negative 1, 82, 0, and 68. Then Shield 5 in red, 0, net, negative 76, 0, and 78. So very, very large. And here's where it got really creative. So I took a shield five right there. Okay. And I took the shield and I just 
turned it outside to make the curve continue to match, and then it makes that nice indentation coming in on the top. And it's like, that really keeps it looking like an arrowhead. I think it looked, so it was a really nice thing there. So again, necessity being the mother of invention, ended up coming up with a cool logo because of this. So it, in red, negative 51, 26, 8, and 75. Copy it, flip it, 52, 26, 352, and 75. And now I did it in red, so now I go back and do the same stuff in white, just a little smaller. So trapezoid 2 in white, negative 1, 83, 0, and 62. Uh, new, anybody new to the channel, first of all, welcome. If you've never seen one of my videos before, I do speed runs on these because I have a huge backlog of logos to do, well over 125 left, at least 125 left. I think it's over 130. I can't remember what I said in my last video that actually had the right account. Um, so I do speed runs, position one, position two, rotation and scale. So we do shield five in white, one, 61, negative, zero, 75. Then copy it in white, negative 29, 13, five and 75, copy, flip, 31, 13, oops, 31, 13, 355 and 75. Then we start on the lettering, so I, um, I took what I did with the Chicago Bears and the um, Green Bay Packers initially until I changed it to a more square one. But this kind of follows what the Green Bay and the Bears do. Ellipse one in red. Okay. That's at 1, 22, 0, and 46. Copy it in white. 1, 22, 0, and 34. Then you take bend. 1 in white. 94, 22, 135, and 16, and I'll show you it again so you can see it right there. I'll actually change the color so you can see what I did, okay? And that blocks it off and makes you a nice letter C, okay? And then we start doing the, the, the K. So I did underscore, not one, Fifth, negative 51, 105, 90, and 11, copy it. Negative 51, negative 59, 90, and 11. Then I copied it. 57, 17, 128, and 11. And then I did, copied it again. 38, negative 49, 232, and 9. So I did have to shrink it a little bit just because of where it was going. So what I ended up doing was I copied it and did 43, negative 44, 232, and 9. Keeps it about the same size. All right, so then I did dash, font one, negative 28, 34, zero, and six, then copied it, negative 28, 21, zero, and six. All right, now we're gonna go into how to make, um, if you haven't seen the Green Bay Packer one, I highly suggest it, because this is where I figured out how to do this. Um, how to make it look like letters are entwined. All right, so I did left parentheses in font five, and it's at negative 55, negative 56, 295, and 10. And then I copied it, negative 48, negative 25, 299, and 10. Then I copied it, 29, 81, 107, and 10. Copied it, 43, 107, 108, and 10. Then I did underscore font one, in white, 23, negative 51, 231, and three. Copied it, 54, negative 36, 232, and three. And then I copied it, 36, 99, 270, and three. Copied it, negative 68, 78, 270, and three. Now, just to kind of match, match, things, match things up on the edges a little bit better, and again, this is where had I done outline for the um, the white outside the, I mean, the, if I had done outline for the red here, instead of doing a shape, this would look very messed up. Um, so I did triangle three in red, 115, 203, 306, and 10, copied it, 92, negative 106, 58, and nine. And then I did one more. At negative 53, negative 167, 271, and 7. And then one last one up here, at because I had more layers, 
126, 207, 308, and 6. And there you go, guys. It's a nice looking, it's a sharp logo. It's a little bit of a nod to the, you know, sort of little futuristic, but with a very strong nod to tradition. All right. Hope you like it. I uh, actually enjoyed making this. I think it's pretty sharp. I think that if you put this on a red jersey, this would look amazing. I think this would look really freaking good. Um, you know, you could probably even get away with this on a red jersey with white pinstripes too. So you got, I think you have some options. Of course, I'm always gonna be biased that jersey 20. It's always my favorite, so this would look great on that. Um, you could shrink this down too, and it would be a really good patch. You know, if you like patch logos, you don't like the big giant hockey style chess logos like I do. Um, again, if you ever ask, I always say the reason why I, I do my logos big is because I don't like baseball logos. I think in general, Major League Baseball logos suck balls, to be honest. They do. They're boring. They're old. They're, it's like I, I understand that, you know, you like some tradition, but, you know, and I know baseball's mired in tradition, but you got to kind of move to the future at times. Minor League Baseball logos are the best followed by, you know, some NHL and um, minor league hockey logos too are really, really cool. And you got some of your more up and coming football, college football programs have some really cool ones too. Um, so there you go. All right, next up is going to be the New York Football Giants as a baseball logo. All right, thank you very much for your support. Appreciate those who are following me. Anybody who's new watching, um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to impart any feedback, good, bad, or ugly. Thank you. Take care.